So the thing that's really interesting about teddies is that we've got this, we remember what the experience is like, uh -huh. and you can see the teddy. Yeah. So it's quite literal, the feeling of safety from a teddy. Uh -huh. But it's also a metaphor. Mm -hmm. It's a metaphor for that, what keeps us calm yeah. in, in any part of life. So how do you talk about that? When I started talking about internal teddy bears, yeah. it was a metaphoric way of trying to help us to think about what's really called our self-regulatory system. Mm -hmm. And who's got that word in their language? Mm -hmm. I kind of wish we did. If we understood that we have a self-regulatory system in our biology that keeps us calm, we would better understand the behavior of all sorts of people. Mm -hmm. And we would start to realize that you can do, all, you can do things that aren't healthy, but that help you feel better. So smoking, taking drugs, punching someone else, calling someone names, all of those help you feel better in the moment. It's just they also have knock-on consequences that become unhealthy or hurtful mm -hmm. to relationships. But if you can't control that agitation, your body says, I need to do something with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do we have stronger internal teddy bears that help us to feel safer and comforted so that we don't have to do things that damage us mm -hmm. and that make us uh, give us unhealthy lives or, or relationships where there's pain? Mm -hmm. That is the point of the whole internal teddy bear metaphor. Teddy bears up, teddy bears down, teddy bears dancing all around.